If only you'd found your niche, but you haven't, so your online business is at a standstill until you do. Let's find that niche for you today by drilling down into the info and results of Google Trends. Hey, I'm Anna, I'm your online mentor here to help you create the business and life you deserve. So make sure to hit subscribe and the bell so that you don't miss out on everything online business. In the previous video, you found three top passions and three top expertises. Now it's time to start playing with them. Let's pretend your passions are just like the top blog niches this year, fitness, recipes, and personal development. Let's find out the results and drill down. There's an important question you're gonna get at the end of this video, but we don't want you to start ruling out options yet, so it's gonna have to wait till the end. Your list of expertises, let's pretend they are telecom, education, and fitness instructor. And now let's play a game. Create matches of your passions and your expertises in as many ways as possible. How many options did you get? How many combinations can you find? Expertises and passions. Any surprises? Comment. Okay, so this is still on a very high level, but it's fun, right? So smash the like button if you like doing this and you feel the anticipation of finding your niche today. All right, so I'll screen share now and we'll start drilling down into fitness, recipes and personal development. The top four blog niches this year are fitness, recipes, personal development and personal finance. And on Google Trends, you can clearly see that fitness and recipes win worldwide in the past 12 months, the web searches. The YouTube searches show that recipes win on YouTube and fitness wins on Google Shopping. It's safe to say that there is demand on these high level niches. Let's drill down and potentially combine them. Let's look at weightlifting, jogging, skiing and cycling within the fitness niche. You can see that cycling has a pretty constant and reliable demand, whereas skiing is more seasonal. Jogging and weightlifting lower demand and weightlifting is probably more niched down already. Let's look at YouTube searches. The result is basically the same. Now let's scroll down and see how these are distributed across the world in, for example, the US, Greece, Canada, United Kingdom, you can see that cycling is a, has a higher demand. We can now drill down into the top queries of each area. Weightlifting top queries. Can we find product demand? Belt, 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 gym, simulator. Weightlifting for women. Okay, so there's also a weight loss aspect to weightlifting. How about jogging? Top queries. You can find brands. There's a stroller. There's, there's some demand for clothing. Pantalon, bottoms, jumpsuit. So maybe jogging has an interesting aspect to it. You could sell products within that niche. Skiing looks like we have to drill down more in order to explore this niche. Water skiing, alpine skiing, these are very different from each other. How about cycling? If we stay with the top searches, shorts, shoes, bike, jersey. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of gear related searches for cycling. Let's add gear to our Google Trends searches. Now that we add gear, we can still see that cycling wins, skiing is seasonal, and the other two are lower. And now we're going to combine your passion for recipes and fitness and look for diet in these four areas. We can clearly see that the running diet has the most interest and the cycling diet comes next. And on YouTube, it's clear running diet wins. So this is exciting how we've now been able to combine different passions. And now for this huge important question. Can you establish influence in any of these areas? Because if you're not going to go full fledged paid advertisement, you're going to have to rely on building influence. And that's going to have to come before income can start flowing. All right, so next move on to finding your target audience in this video.